And welcome back, gamers. I'm Drax Newsome, and we are here playing Dwarf Fortress again. So this episode, I'm going to try and uh, get it moving along pretty quickly because uh, we're going to start working on our uh, military. So we don't have much time. There was something I forgot to mention, however, before, um, and that is this guy right here. So this is uh, a catacombs. So basically, dwarves die in Dwarf Fortress. Crazy, I know. Uh, they die from bears eating them, they die from getting old, they die from starving, they die from going crazy. Uh, they basically die really easy. So, uh, this basically project is uh, uh, a catacombs where you're going to keep them. It'll also be for pets because pets um, uh, also die. Um, so, the problem is that if you don't uh, basically bury your dwarves, uh, they come back to haunt you, literally. There will be little ghosts that wander around, and they'll either, like, push doors and, like, try and hurt them, or they'll just stand there, and, or they'll just, um, wander around and do nothing. All of which is annoying. So, uh, you basically have to have a place to put them. And even if you do have a catacombs and you're very vigilant about burying dwarves, um, they can still come back and haunt you. Like, if they die in a puddle or something and you can't necessarily go get their body, then it's very difficult to inter them. So, uh, but I'll try and get back to this in a little bit. Uh, as you can see, uh, in the JM, uh, JM, which is the work manager, I've already ordered up some coffins here. Um, and I basically, uh, so these are basically like grand, uh, mausoleum halls where I'll basically just create like either lines or patterns of, uh, coffins. And these will be individual mausoleums and this will be the grand hall where everyone is dead and we basically branch off from there so this will lead to somewhere else and this will all basically be a self-contained system for um dead people pets as well because yeah so we'll get into that in a little bit but our main goal right now is uh military and as you recall uh we had some migrants last video so we're going to work on that so this gentleman here uh, actually uh, has the ability to um, be in a squad, and his is in the Ponderous Shield. So we're going to start off by actually naming our squads, because Ponderous Shields and the Cobalt Fortunes don't necessarily tell me what the crap these people do. So, uh, the, the military menu is, of course, uh, M, which is this guy right here, so we'll go ahead and go into that. This uh, screen gives you a lot of information. Every squad can only have up, can have as few dwarves as you want, but up to a maximum of 10. So usually by the time my fortress gets really going, I'll have like five or six squads that are full. So Ponder Shields is our military or our melee squad. So uh, as you can see, uh, there's it gives you some information. This, there's a hammer dwarf, an axe dwarf, and some random other dwarves. But uh, we want to name this squad because uh, we have no idea what Ponder Shields means. So Shift N is name squad, so we will call it um, uh, the. F uh, I'm never very good at naming things, in case you haven't been able to tell in other videos. Um, the Dwarven uh, Knights, I guess. You can name it whatever you want. You can also name this out in the world, but it's kind of buggy where, like, other commands will sort of cut you off. It'll think you're trying to do something else, so it'll take you, like, ten minutes to name something. So I recommend doing it in the, um, uh, the, the military menu, which is this guy here. So we'll also name these guys, and we'll call them, uh, Fortress Rangers. That way we can kind of tell, okay, well, knights are obviously melee, fortress rangers, they probably use crossbows or something. So, uh, yeah, those will also keep track of, so when we're assigning people. So now when we come out here, uh, and when we hit V, which is the view unit, uh, it shows the two squads that are available, the dwarven knights and the dwarven rangers, so it's a lot easier to assign them. Uh, this is when you first view, so example, uh, I'm not in any menu, I hit V, and it takes me into the view creature, as you may recall from previous videos. Uh, you can hit enter to assign them to this squad, so if you happen to hit P, 
So we'll give the, use this guy as an example because obviously um, he was someone I wanted. So if you hit G, excuse me, uh, competent Mace Dwarf. So obviously he is going to be good for military. So uh, we jump back out and then we uh, go ahead and hit P, which for preferences. And then uh, we assigned him to the Dwarven Knights because obviously we're going to want to get started on that here in a little bit. So we're going to go ahead and process these migrants in case we have more that are ready for uh, military work. This guy, he can he sort of qualifies, um, but we're kind of looking for people who can actually do things. Dabbling means he's just basically barely started using any of those things, so we'll just give him real jobs. Uh, so we'll give him farming, uh, brewing, why not, uh, wood burning, and soap making. Sounds good. Uh, this guy is a competent axe dwarf. So again, another person who is available for our dwarven knight. So we'll actually get to see this one. So we'll hit uh, P for preferences, uh, and it'll take us into this menu. We'll go ahead and hit enter, and he'll be assigned to that squad. This guy doesn't really do anything, so I guess that's cool. Um, let's give him some crafts jobs. How about uh, leather working? Uh, wax working, uh, strand extraction, bone carving. Uh, I feel like there was something else I wanted to do with you. Tanning, I think. Yeah. Okay, this guy looks like he's going to be an archer. You can usually tell by the colors. Uh, so we'll go, and he is a ranger, so that's a pretty good indicator. Oh, whoops. So G again uh, to go into his menu, and remember these can. Uh, so C will truncate anything that has to do with combat, so now you can see all this normal stuff. But he's a competent Marksdorf, which is perfect, so we are going to go ahead and assign him to the Fortress Rangers. You can scroll through these with the plus and minus on your number pad. So we will go ahead and assign him to the Fortress Rangers, uh, and then we'll make sure that he's doing stuff that involves shooting things, like hunting. So it might, it might seem like he's assigned to that, but you always want to check. So we're also going to do... Uh, He's also going to have to put that stuff together because, you know, you don't get to shoot it and then leave it. This isn't. And another competent Marksdorf, which is awesome. We love Marksdorfs, so we will go ahead and assign him to the Fortress Rangers. Um, we will then check and see because even military dwarves need work after um, training sessions and that sort of thing. So you always want to make sure that they have a job to do when they're not um, at work, basically. So. Mm, what do I want this guy to do? Mm, well, I want him to hunt, because that way he'll train even when he's not. And we will also do crossbow making. We'll pretend like he's cool. And carpentry, why not? I'm also getting animals, and remember, when you get animals, you have to make sure that they go over to the, um, the pasture over here so they don't starve to death. Very annoying, but it's required because you know animals dying isn't always the best, especially when you're trying to uh, sort of get a food source that involves meat that they don't have to hunt. And we have another green guy, which means we'll probably have another hunter. Ooh, a great Mark Thorf. That's a, a rare-ish, but he will be a great candidate for our Fortress Rangers. Uh, and then he, I don't think he really had anything else, but we'll make sure that he's got hunting in here, and he does, which is good. Uh, then we'll give him, uh, bone crafting, and what else is nefarious-ish? Uh, soap making, why not? And, mm, uh, lie making, I guess. Very, um, okay, new guy. Uh, he is great at lots of stuff, but not anything military, so we will give him some more jobs just because we want everything uh, to be covered. Um, good enough. Okay, and that's the end of our uh, uh, migrants. So unfortunately, uh, we didn't actually get enough to fill out. Uh, we still have three slots available for uh, the Dwarven Knights, and we'll, we'll go ahead and assign people just to show you how to do that as well. So go ahead and hit M for the military menu. 
uh, highlight any of the slots available. Uh, so as you can see, it tells you what the person's name is, what their job is, and why they are good for that slot. So this is a competent Hammerdorf, competent Axdorf, Axdorf, Macedorf, Hammerdorf, Macedorf, blah, 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 blah. So uh, we can go through and over here, so if you, you can scroll through these with just the arrow keys, up and down, left and right, all that good stuff. So if you highlight uh, an available slot and then you move over again to this side, it'll you can scroll through and it'll tell you basically uh, no relevant skills. If you happen to find someone with that does have relevant skills, uh, it'll also tell you if they're assigned to a squad. This guy will have no relevant skills because this is a melee squad and a ranger won't have any melee abilities. So we will go through and we will wander. Not anything popping out. So maybe we, uh, we'll just leave this squad for now. And as you can see, I also ordered up some armor stands and some weapon racks so we can actually create this as a room. So remember to create a room, you hit Q to highlight a building. Uh, highlight uh, any one of these that happen. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Oh, we're actually going to install a door because this is a training thing that I want to have in my own fortress. And like I said, it's kind of game breaking, but. Um... Sorry, I'm drinking coffee. I'm all jittery. Um. It's kind of game-breaking, but it's sort of useful. Uh, you can definitely look it up. Uh, it's called the Death Room. Uh, I won't probably say more than that. Ah, so we also have a Fey Mood. So these, there's several different uh, types of these. Fey Mood, um, Withdrawn from Society, uh, Possessed. What are the other ones? There's a bunch of them. You basically can't control this guy anymore. And they will go and they'll claim a... a some type of crafting workshop as you can see he I believe that's a mason's workshop yes and so you see I can't like if I move over to this one I can give it commands but now that he's claimed it I can't do anything with it so what'll happen is it uh, they'll sort of um, they'll sort of take over and they'll just build so I'm trying to Ah, okay, so in the Q menu, uh, it'll tell you what he's looking for. And it, he'll sit there for uh, probably about a whole season, approximately. And he'll say, so what we're probably missing is a, a metal block. Which is crap, because we don't have anything that... Well, actually we do. I'll see if we can't help him out. Uh, so he's looking for stone rocks and metal bars. So we don't have any metal bars, so he'll sit there and he will like sort of wait for it. He'll wait as long as possible until he goes crazy, um, which is definitely unfortunate. Uh, so let's see if we can. We need charcoal bad before he goes crazy and dies. Uh... <laughs> so I'm basically ordering up charcoal, which is a type of, obviously a type of uh, fuel. So uh, uh, as I recall, I uh, sort of, uh, had a, a dagger, a weapon that was made of metal that we can melt down. So we'll turn that into a uh, a metal block for him, so he doesn't. So hopefully he won't go crazy and die. Because basically, if they go crazy, they die. And they are, there are several types of craziness where he just mumbles to himself. Uh, he wanders around screaming. Um, or he'll go berserk. Berserk is bad because they turn into animals and they will kill people. It has happened. Uh, I've had it happen where they, like, uh, sort of wandered out into the wilderness and attacked people who were getting water. So a bunch of dwarves drowned trying to defend themselves from this insane dwarf. So it's definitely a, uh, a, a problem. So you definitely want to be aware of that sort of thing. So let's see if I can't find... Where are weapons? Mm. Coffee. Crap, where are weapons? Anyone see it? Someone shouted out at me. I can also watch this because it'll say melt when it comes across it. Might be. Okay, it's not showing up in stocks. So let's go up here. See, I know, I can see it right there. So we're going to melt that. 
Is there anything else around? Because these look like kobolds. King Cobra. Nope, not kobolds. That sucks. Hmm. Well, hopefully he's only looking for one metal block. Otherwise, we are toast. Toast, toast. Well, maybe there's a, a bolt around somewhere. That looks metal. Nope. Bone. Crap. Ah, uh ha-ha! -huh. That looks metal. Probably bone. Yep. Crip, crip, crip. They're out here hunting, shooting the crap out of a dingo. Three hunters for one dingo. That's a lot of bolts. That sucks. You guys are not very good at your job. Okay, so we will. Uh, so we're crafting some uh, charcoal here. Oh yeah, I'm gonna need wood as well. This military video is turning out to not have to much to do. But that's sort of uh, how the game goes. Like, yeah, obviously, uh, you gotta feed the sort of machine, so. And for that, you definitely need materials. And we'll need ash to make soap as well, and that's part of uh, our needs over here in the uh, hospital. So that's something else we need. doing all kinds of things all at once. We're already halfway through the video at least, so let's see. Oh, didn't do that right. Oh yeah, we also have tetrahedrate. I forgot about that. We just need fuel for it, right? Okay, whatever. That, that should satisfy that guy. And if not, screw him. He can die. Uh, so anyways, we're, we'll go back to this. I believe we have a door. Nope, sure don't. That sucks. Why? What's the, what's the deal, guys? What's the deal? Ah, that's why. Uh, crap. <laughs> so I want a door, so I'm just going to sort of pop one into this uh, menu here. So they make it, so I don't have to wait, because I don't like to wait. I want to close off that door so it's separate. In the meantime, I'm going to take care of all these dead bugs and crap around. Freaking cat. Dump, dump. Oh, nope, don't none of that. Dump that. Pretty sure there's one right there, and there is. Freaking cat, man. Look at this mess. I mean, it's sort of what you want, but it still sucks. Because you have to go around and tell every single one of them to dump. It sucks. It's crap. barrel. Oh, we already have some. Cool. Uh, let's put those. So these are hives I'm placing, so we're basically getting ready to uh, have honey and wax. Uh, whoops. Which is alt, which is build, and then alt H is hive. So we'll go ahead and place a couple of those. We don't need that many hives. Make me a door. No! Door! Freaking... Okay. Basically, everything I need to happen is happening right here. Oh, but we are carving out some of the uh, catacombs here. Ah, uh, human caravan. Crap, 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 crap. So much stuff to do. So as you can see, this is basically what's, why Dwarf Fortress is fun. Because you have to uh, basically navigate lots of stuff. So we're going to go ahead and order up some stuff. Oh, what? We are nearly out of booze. That is a problem. Uh, Oh, 
instruments. Let's order up some of those tools. Uh, sure, whatever. Toys, already ordered up all of those. Bags, splints, rope, threads. Blah, 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 blah. Crafts, okay. Uh, that should be good. So we're going to do, a, I'm going to order, I have a lot of stuff to do because we are almost at, whoop, 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 whoop. Don't, no, 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 stop. Because our still has stopped working and that is bad, that is bad. We need drinks. I mean, we have a well now. As you can see, they built that well. Um, which reminds me, I've got to make a zone for it. Um, so we need that going. Oh, see? So he went and grabbed the bar. And now he's making something. So he didn't die. So yay, we helped him. Huzzah. They don't really care what kind it is as long as it's the item that they're looking for. So if he's looking for a bar, as long as you have any bar, that's what he's going to use. I believe... Why is it taking so long, man? This sucks. Why? Oh. Rude. Just run over our hives, huh? Jerks. Okay. Uh, I feel like I want more stuff over here. But what? Um, so leather. Are we... How much leather do we have? Oh, well. Doesn't matter. So we're also going to start creating um, uh, armor. So let's see. Helm. Glove. We want glove and then high boot, shield, quiver, backpack, uh, water skin. Okay, so these are the basically the armor pieces for archers. They always wear leather armor, so you need armor, leggings, helm, gloves, high boots, shields. Am I missing something? I feel like I am. Shield, high boot, glove, helm, leggings armor. Hmm, guess not. There's a thief. Oh, he got pegged by an archer. That was awesome. Oh, got shot again and again and again and again and again. He's dead. What's wrong with him? Let's look before he dies. Oop. Broken. Uppercut. Uppercut. Broken. Cut. Cut. Shoulders. Broken. False ribs. Broken. You're dead. See? Dead. So we're going to melt his silver dagger, and we are going to melt those bolts because they are useful. So he's building. I'm hoping... He finished a door, and it's a fancy door. So they create artifacts when they do this, and they are very valuable, and they jump your uh, value up a lot. You can also put them into things, which is nice. Um, I better make sure that I don't use it. And see, it comes up as a special name in the list of doors. We don't want to use that one, because it's very valuable. Okay, so we are going to create our barracks, so you can expand it off of any armor rack or... Uh, Weapon stand doesn't work on the beds, but it's a, one of the things that's required. So we'll go ahead and include it there. Mm, sure. And you can basically tell which squad that you want to train there. Technically, we want both, but we want f uh, fortress rangers to. We'll have them work on archery. So we're going to want those guys to train there. So we're going to also want to set their schedule. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and... So S is the squad menu, so if you want to give a squad commands, you can hit S. It'll bring up uh, all of the squads you have, and you can hit S again, and then it'll bring you up into this menu. So this is basically like the months of the year. Uh, this is the order you have them, 
at, and this is how many uh, are following that order. So when you're having your squads train, you basically don't want them to train all of them at once, because that means for the entire time, all of them will be training. So you, even if you have a full squad, you want at least two or three off uh, task. So we have technically seven of these guys. So we're going to go ahead and hit E to edit order. And we're going to hit, uh, so here it tells you uh, how many soldiers are minimum. So we're going to reduce that. We have seven, so we're going to go with about four. We're going to hit shift enter. So as you can see, now on the granite month, we have a minimum of four training. So we're going to hit C to copy, and we're going to hit P on all the other ones to paste. So as you can see, uh, as I scroll down with the uh, arrow keys, uh, the uh, training is adjusting. And you can say sleep in a room at will, or you can say sleep in the barracks. Uh, you can say uh, if you want them to wear their uniforms and that sort of thing, so civilian clothes, uniform, whatever. I recommend uh, wearing a uniform because if you have armor, they'll actually get trained in armor when they take blows because if they're like punching each other, um, if a, their armor deflects a blow, then uh, their skill goes up in that. So. Uh, uh, it'll eventually scroll over. So these are our rangers, uh, but we will need an archery range for them. So uh, I need to think about creating that. We'll create that here. Ooh. Uh, no, I don't like that. I don't like it. That's fine. Okay, so things are moving right along. And if we want, we are starting to make uh, uh, metal, so we can always start creating weapons and armor and that sort of thing. Copper isn't the best, so I'm going to probably hold off a little bit and see if we can't get a hold of uh, something a little bit fancier. So let's see. So we're also through. So let's make some stuff, because we're also, let's see, we want bags, we want rope, and then we just want clothing. So shirt, coat, trousers, hood, mittens, socks, and shoes. So that will keep them busy. Let's make some crossbows. Uh, we don't need to tell them to do anything because they'll definitely have jobs in the future. Uh, crafter. Oh crap, we still have the caravan here. Crafts, rock, 20, crafts, or no, toys, rock, 20, mug, rock, 20, um, that would be good. Not doing a whole lot of military, am I? I'm working on it, though. There's lots to do, lots to jump around between. So hopefully uh, we can get that going here in just a little bit. Oh, 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 nope, nope, nope. We don't want a cage there. Uh, remove building. More beds.
buckets. See, and as you can see, we keep our doors plenty, plenty busy. See, and here they are washing off blood and stuff. Kind of gross. Is there a traitor here? Stop! Stop! Let someone else do it. Ugh. I swear, if they leave without trading, I am going to be so pissed. Let's keep this going here, because it's kind of weird. I don't like it. We're going to start smoothing stone so that we can sort of get doors trained on that. Plus this place will look better. This kind of looks like a dump. And we don't want it to look like a dump. You better be up there, like, tomorrow. <sighs> oh, crap. Don't leave. Don't leave. Don't leave. We, we want to trade, I promise. We've got cool stuff for you. <laughs> Don't leave. We love you. I promise. We, we, we want you to stay. We want you to stay. <laughs> okay. Yep. Uh-huh. Yep. Mm-hmm. Yep. Yep. Come on. Come on. Come on. Okay, so let's let's do something. Kind of, I don't. Mm. Damn. Okay, those are all set. Those are that one was the one I missed before. Those are all set, those are all set, those are all set, those are all set, those are all set. Oh, here we go. I think these were part of the ones I placed, though, so whatever. Oh, that one's missing. So all of those bedrooms are now set, I believe. We might might come through and check every now and then just to make sure. Oh, crap, crap, crap. Get up there. <laughs> Stop managing things and just go up there. He's just sitting here. Probably jerking it in there. Freaking dwarf. Go upstairs. Go. Shoot. Get out of there! Arr. Why is it taking you so long to approve those work orders? It should have been done in like 20 seconds. I swear. Actually, I wonder. Hmm. See, and it sort of tells you who can do what. I don't think we have anyone who's an appraiser. Oh, I can't replace him. Uh, he's got me by the fill in the... Oh, oh, he's the expedition leader. Crap. Who is this person? Professional. I might be able to get by with him. 
Except I'll probably take a beating. I don't really have stuff to spare either. Freaking crap. Man. Freaking crap! Nope, not support statue. We'll put in statues in here to make it seem fancy. Oh, but we only got one. So, crap. Crap, 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 crap. I swear, if they leave... Oh my goodness, this happens to me all the time. Would you please stop managing... You know, you know what? You know what? I don't even need these. I don't even need these. Get out of here. Nope. 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 Uh, kind of need the bucket. We'll leave that there. Okay, stop managing. Get up there and give them money. Oh, thank God. Okay, perfect. Uh-huh. Oh, we're not going to have any... Because I, I haven't been paying attention to that. We're not going to have any money to work with. Oh, no! I think that's it. That's it. Okay. Well, I guess I know where I... Uh... I always want glass. Because that can be turned into free money. Mm, sorry, sneezy. <laughs> mm, I'm sure that sounded silly. Alright, let's see, let's see, let's see. No, whoop, I don't want that. I don't know what it is, but I don't want it. Let's see, swordfish, strawberry, chestnut barrels, long beer, strawberry wine, vulture, buckets, picks kind of expensive and I have limited amount of cash dollars my turtle bucks are not the most bucks fibers large iron so just as an FYI you can also buy like large iron cast but the thing is this counts as foreign and large means it's bigger than dwarves can wear so you basically wouldn't be buying anything that's called large to wear or use because uh, it's bigger than a dwarf, so you would have to either melt it down or turn it into something. Or... I don't want sand. I've got tons of sand. Leave me alone. Seeds. Also, humans will always deal in uh, overland seeds, so you're never going to find, like, plump helmets and that sort of thing. You're only going to find stuff that you would find in the overworld. Uh, lots of cloth. I do want leather. I want all the leather. I forgot about that. Gimme. You can use page up and page down, just FYI, if you don't want to read through all every single one of these. Oh man, you guys don't have a ton of leather, do you? I don't have much of anything I want, really. Well, I guess you kind of do, just I couldn't afford it. No, no, no. 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 I will take the booze. Give me all the booze. Uh, beer, 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 strawberry wine. I don't care about buckets. Large chest. Let's buy some cloth. Wool? Sure. Does all I have is wool? Probably. Jerks. Wool. Uh, cloth. We're running up on our limit here. Oh, everything is so expensive. You just jerks. Uh, um, clay? I guess we can buy your clay. Why not? Um, do you have any dogs? Because I could use dogs. Mine were slaughtered by a bear. A sloth bear, as I recall. Sort of like an avatar or something. Uh, flying squirrel, blah, 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 blah. Well, I guess we can buy some barrels. Sure, why not? Chestnut barrel... Uh, I don't really want to, well, eh, sure, I'll buy your freaking buckets, whatever. Uh, ooh. Hmm. Do you have another pick? Ooh. Uh, good enough. Will you take that? Oh, 
crap. <laughs> okay, keep your buckets. Uh, I want all the beer. You can keep your barrel. I want all of that beer. I don't. You can keep your wool. I don't really need wool. I was just wanting it. I want the rope reed though. You can keep that. So as you can see, sometimes you kind of have to give them the uh, edge. No, no. And that will the that gap will close based on the quality of the things you sell. There. How's that? Okay. Go back to whatever you were doing. So we got a ton of stuff. Hopefully it'll keep us in business. As you can see, we're sort of filling up with jugs and pots over here. And we're going kind of... Oh, we're very long. So uh, we'll go ahead and we'll end the episode here. Uh, uh, thank you for watching. Uh, I've been Drax and Usum. This has been Dwarf Fortress. And I hope to see you next time. Alrighty. Thanks very much. And we'll see you around, gamers.